Today I'm reviewing the 105T Dive Torch from ANO Industries. This is a Chinese made dive torch that I purchased recently from my local dive shop. It has three modes, a medium, a high and a strobe. It's made from aluminium and hard anodized black with a mechanical push button at the rear to turn the light on and to cycle through the modes. It uses a special battery, 18650. It takes approximately 7 hours to charge this battery, so it's a good idea to purchase a second battery so you can swap them over. With the torch set on medium, the burn time is 3 hours. The battery drain over that period is pretty consistent, starting at 4.2 volts, finishing at 3 volts. The torch will strobe half an hour and 15 minutes before it's depleted, to give you a warning of low battery. On the high setting, you get an hour and a half with a constant battery drain, 4.2 volts down to 3.1 volt. Once the torch shuts down, you can actually turn it back on and get a few more minutes out of it. So it's not as if you're totally dead in the water once this thing shuts down. Okay, so let's have a look at the torch. Insert the battery in nipple first. Now to try and screw on the end cap. It's a little bit difficult to balance the end cap on the O-ring and try and get the threads aligned. I think if they gave you a couple more threads before you hit the O-rings, it'd be a little bit easier to assemble. Press the button at the rear to turn the torch on. The torch immediately goes on to the medium power setting. We can cycle through the modes by partially pressing the button. The next mode is high, and the following mode is strobe. One full depressed to turn the torch back off. The lanyard buckle that comes with this torch is pretty hard to operate, especially underwater with gloves. Also, the very thin string section on the lanyard doesn't inspire me with confidence. One of the first things I'll do with this torch is to replace the lanyard with something a little bit more secure. In the box you get a charging cradle for the battery, a USB cable and a wall socket. When you put the battery in the cradle, the red lead will illuminate. And even when you connect the USB cable to the wall socket, the red lead on the wall socket will also glow. When the wall socket's plugged in and charging, you also get a green light. You know the battery's fully charged when the green light goes out. I'm also going to reference this torch against another torch I own, an Innovatec compact dive torch. The torch is very similar in size. It only has two modes, full and 30%. It is made out of aluminium and has a bright finish. It runs on three AAA batteries. When you turn on the ANO torch, it defaults to medium setting. Partly to press the rear button once to turn it into high mode. Partly to press it again to turn the strobe on. As you can see, the Intova Compact Dive Torch is nowhere near as bright as the ANO. Here I have the Intova Compact Dive Torch looking under a ledge. Now you see the ANO torch is a lot brighter and covers a larger area. Here we see a diver using a canister light. His light is very bright. To the left, I'm using the ANO torch. While the beam of the ANO torch is not as large as the canister torch, and its brightness probably only 80% of the canister torch, given the size of the torch, in a side-by-side -side comparison, it does a pretty good job. This next section of video is of an open water reef dive during the day. Throughout all these tests, the torch remains on medium. As you can see, the torch still makes an impact on a bright sunny day. If you're hunting for crayfish, it might actually be better to use the Invertec Compact Dive Torch, or at least keep the a and torch out of direct contact with the marine light so as not to scare them away. As you can see on the wall at depth, the torch covers a fair distance and gives you good penetration. The only unknown thing about this torch is how long will it last. Well that's it, I hope you've enjoyed the review of the A&O R105T Dive Torch.